Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we will take a look at my homemade laser cutting machine. As you can see here, the machine has both a CO2 laser tube, a diode laser and a CNC rotor. The two lasers have both irises which is built using an off-the-shelf compressor. To strengthen the machine during the quick movement, we have added this acrylic plate to stabilize the whole thing. The movement of machine is made possible by these rollers which roll on this recess in the platform. Threaded rods are also present in all the different axes, which are powered by stepper motors. For the CO2 laser, mirrors are needed as the tube is in the back of the machine. These need to be aligned carefully to ensure a clean and consistent cut. The CO2 laser tube is mounted using 3D printed brackets as you can see here. In this part of the machine, a wooden enclosure helps keep all the custom made electronics safe. The CO2 laser is cooled down by a water cooling loop made using an old aquarium pump, a flow slash temperature sensor and an Arduino to show the temperature and flow of the tube. This is really important as a too hot tube can break down easily. Here is a closer look on how the stepper motors are mounted to the machine. These small switches are added to ensure that the machine doesn't go over its limits. A meshed bed keeps the material nice and cool and prevents the underlying platform from being too burned by the high-powered lasers. This also helps with smoke management. To demonstrate this machine, we will be cutting an acrylic engraved cutout of none other than Popeye the Sailor Man. We are using the program Inkscape to create the so-called G-code file for the Mach 3 program that the machine runs on. I have installed a plugin called Laser Tools, which can easily create the file based on a vector drawing of your own choice. First we will engrave with the laser at a low power output as you can see here in a sped up version. This took approximately 4 minutes in real time. We are only engraving the outlines of the vector, as a full engrave with the CO2 laser takes quite some time at a stable speed. For larger engraved areas and such, we will normally be utilizing the diode laser which has a PWM controllable output, versus the CO2 laser which output is controlled by a potentiometer. After engraving, we will cut out the piece. This happens at a higher output and will cut through acrylic and wood up to 4 mm of thickness in a single pass. This cut took 1 minute in real time. The sparks you might see is the laser reflecting of the mesh below. This is why it is very important to wear laser goggles when using this machine, as one wrong look at it might damage your eyes forever. After cutting, the piece falls right out. Notice the smoke, this is not good to breathe. Now all we need is a good spot to place our Popeye cutout, and what is better than a LED stand. And there you have it, a quick overview of our laser cutting machine. Feel free to leave a comment on suggestions on another video. We might do a tutorial and more in-depth videos about this machine and the process behind it. Thanks for watching the video and see you in the next.